What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today we got some huge news when it comes to iOS 11.3. Tim Cook did an interview with ABC News, and the topic of battery throttling came up. Now, up until this point, I made a video a couple weeks back talking about Apple's letter to customers, apologizing for throttling users with degraded batteries. It was a huge controversy in that video, and more specifically in Apple's letter to customers. They confirmed that they would be releasing a new iOS update in early 2018 that gave users a better and more transparent look at the health and condition of their own battery. Here's the problem for Apple, early 2018 could mean anywhere from January 1st all the way up until sometime in late, late April. We didn't know when we would be seeing this, but in the new interview with ABC News, Tim Cook reveals a new feature coming in iOS 11.3 and when we can expect to see the official iOS 11.3 beta launch for developers. One of the biggest points of contention for Apple during this battery controversy was not only why they didn't tell users exactly what they were doing when they did it, but why was there not even at the very minimum an option or a feature to shut it off. If you didn't want your battery to be throttled, if you didn't want your device to slow down, even when your battery was experiencing heavy degradation, why was there no feature in iOS that you could just toggle off and then you would have full performance even at the risk of your device unexpectedly shutting down more frequently? And from the mouth of Tim Cook himself today, the CEO of Apple, we heard that there is going to be a feature in iOS 11.3 that allows users to opt out of the slowing down, which is actually a really great feature. Some users only had minimal battery degradation where their battery couldn't hold as much charge as it used to, but they were experiencing some heavy slowdowns because of the way the software was coded. In iOS 11.3, according to Tim Cook, they will be able to opt out of their device slowing down and experience full speed once again, even if their battery is degraded. This is such a good idea. I wish it would have been included in something like the iOS 11.2.5 beta, but I'm glad that we will be seeing this when the beta launches in February. That is the second half of the news from this interview. Tim Cook officially announced as well alongside that new feature that iOS 11.3 would be launching to developers sometime in February. We don't have an exact date just yet. It would probably be on a Monday or Tuesday in February, which is super exciting. I also assume that the beta will launch for public beta testers as well, but at the time, Apple has not officially confirmed that. So while iOS 11.3 beta 1 with the new battery features, the ability to view more transparent information about your battery and the ability to disable throttling on your device with a degraded battery, while that's coming in February for developers and possibly public beta testers, we have no idea about a public release just yet. It could be later in February if Apple really rushed things. It could be March. It could be April. Uh, it's probably going to be more something like the end of March. If Apple does hold a spring event this year, I could totally see them talking about the update and dropping it the day of an event sometime in the middle or, or tail end of March. But we don't know just yet. Of course, stay tuned here for more information on iOS 11.3 in the future. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. Are you very happy to see that Apple is giving users the option to disable this defaulted feature as we find it in iOS 11.2.2 right now, or do you really care about this battery controversy anymore? It definitely blew up, it popped off for a while, I heard about it constantly, now I'm still hearing about it, but the news is definitely beginning to slow down. That is everything you should know about iOS 11.3 for now. If you enjoyed this video, learned something new, feel free to drop a like down below and that would really help me out. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the 